Hi guys, welcome back to Coco Lime Fitness. So in today's vlog, I wanted to answer a question from one of my subscribers, Anne. Hi Anne, thank you so much for the question. And that is, what are some natural ways to reduce excess skin after weight loss? Okay, so I have my notes here with me. And first of all, I just wanna explain what are some of the reasons for excess skin after weight loss. Losing too much weight too fast is the number one reason. And this often happens when people do crash dieting and they tend to lose more than 1.5 pounds a week. And it really just isn't safe to lose more than that, to be honest, because what happens is you often lose more muscle mass than fat, and that's when the skin starts to droop and sag and look ugly and all of that terrible stuff. Reason two, it goes along with the first reason, and that is you're probably doing too much cardio or too much high intensity cardio for too long. And what this does is it also eats away at your muscle mass, causing your skin to sag. So yes, that's another reason why I don't do high intensity cardio, just because I don't like it, but also because of this. So it's another reason for medium intensity. Sadly, the next reason is you may just be getting older, Ugh, which is so, so sad, I hate it and your skin just starts to lose its natural elasticity. It's really, really sad. So yeah, things start to sag. And the last reason is, unfortunately, you could just still have some loose fat that's hanging around under your skin, preventing everything from being pulled in in tight. So with that in mean, there's two different kinds of fat. There's visceral fat, which lies underneath the organs, and that's the most dangerous fat but that's the one that kind of stays in place. It doesn't really move or jiggle. It looks less scary, I guess you'd say, than the next type of fat, which is subcutaneous fat. Now, subcutaneous fat is the more healthy fat to have if you're going to have fat. It causes less problems long-term with your health, but it's the most unsightly fat, if you ask me. It's the one that jiggles, that just kind of sits on top of everything, and when you walk, it moves. Yeah, Jelly Belly, I uh, hate it, hate it. And it's honestly, it's one of the most hard or most difficult fats to lose as well. So what happens is if you have like a couple pounds of that lying underneath your skin, then nothing's gonna be tight. So what are some healthy, natural solutions you can try to help get rid of this? Okay, so the first one is just be patient. You know, if you are trying to lose weight, Try really hard to not lose more than 1.5 pounds a week. And try really hard to not include too much cardio into your regimen. You wanna have a nice balance of strength training and cardio that's medium intensity. If you do decide to do high intensity, it's perfectly fine if you like it, but limit the time that you do it. So the next thing you wanna do is you want to add in more protein, right? We hear this all the time. Well, you need to add in more protein because that's what helps build your muscles. So a good rule of thumb is about 0.8 grams to one gram per pound of body weight. This is difficult to do. I'm not going to lie to you. I personally don't do it because I just don't like eating that much protein. But if you're somebody who wants to really build muscle and tighten everything up, then this is a good rule. And of course, you always wanna pair that with really healthy, good foods, right? You don't wanna put junk into your body, even if it's considered like health food. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is if you have dry skin, I know I do, is you wanna make sure that you moisturize a lot. Um, a couple good ones that I used straight from the natural food store is the glycerin, which basically is the number one ingredient in a lot of lotions out there. So the cool thing is, is it's completely natural and it soaks right into your skin and it's not greasy at all. It's awesome. You can also use some good essential oils if your body is okay with them, like frankincense or argan oil is really good as well. The next thing you can do is if it's safe for your body, you can take a natural collagen supplement. We see these everywhere now because everybody's trying to find ways to tighten things up. 
So if you find a pure version of this with no additives or chemicals, then go ahead, take that. And you can also do a regular daily dose of vitamin C. The recommendation is 75 milligrams. You can take more, but once your body has what it needs, it pees the rest out. So. It's also good, of course, to take many other vitamins and minerals that help promote skin growth. So these are vitamin E. You can get this through a supplement. Make sure it's a good quality supplement. And you want to take at least 15 milligrams a day. But it is safe to take more. That's no problem with that. You can get this through various food sources like sunflower seeds, hazelnuts, and wheat germ. The next vitamin that you might want to take is vitamin D. And of course, the number one source of vitamin D is sunlight. Just sit out in the sun for 10 to 15 minutes a day and you will get your daily dose. And the next thing, so important you guys, vitamin B complex. Now this is good for everything, but vitamin B complex contains biotin and folate. And the sources of this are meat and dairy. So if you can't have meat or you can't have dairy, um, it's good to take a, a quality supplement for this. Okay, so just a couple reminders for you guys. So progress is really, really slow, and especially when we have something like excess skin, that takes a long time to change that. So you just make sure that you're patient, stick with these different tips, and I guarantee you're gonna see changes in no time. Now, don't get discouraged. Again, some of this is genetics, okay? We're always gonna have little bits on us that are jiggly. So embrace the ones you can't get rid of, you know? I love your body and be happy because, you know, when we focus so much on how we look, then that's just a recipe for dissatisfaction in life. It's, it's more about how we feel. And if you know that your body is healthy from the inside, you know that you're doing everything you can to take care of it, then that's all that matters, right? So that's it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And if you have an idea for a vlog or a question that you would like me to answer for you, please put it in the comments below. I would love to answer that for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome, energetic, stress-free day. Take care. So that's it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Ugh. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't talk today. <laughs>